Hello, this is Mike with Milestone 20. D&D Beyond has recently released Monster Dice Rolling in their Encounter Builder and in their Encounter Tracker. Uh, and today I'd like to explain how some of that code is working in Homebrew Monsters. So, we're going to take a look at rolling the dice rolling from a monster stats. Uh, we're going to review some of the rollable code uh, and the syntax in the Homebrew Monster actions. Uh, we're going to look at identifying the code components, uh, which include the button syntax, the dice command syntax, and then the titles that appear in both the game log and the, uh, uh, the pop-ups. So what I've got here, if I, I've got a zoomed in screen of a copy of a, of a Deva homebrew monster. And I've, I've also created a, a campaign here with the, the Deva as the monster. Uh, so we'll be able to get some some uh, game log data and then we'll be able to see these dice rolls as they appear on the page um, So let's take a look at some of these uh, Over here on the Deva you've got the hit points section the abilities section saving throws and skills now these These are these are in a different area in the homebrew um, And I believe they have all the code behind the scenes on that the things that we'll be able to look at here are the special traits and the the attacks and actions. So um, let's take a look at this angelic weapon first. Um, this section here. So you see we've got a, a button for 48 for rolling that angelic weapons. So I'm going to go ahead and roll that. And we'll get our results and you see angelic weapons is the title and damage and we rolled 48. So let's take a look over here with the rollable code. So how this code start works is it starts and stops. It's basically like bookending the code uh, with rollable in square brackets. So you've got rollable and then you've got slash rollable that designates the end of the code. This next section before the semicolon here is the button text. So if you see this 4D8 here, that's 4D8 here. Uh, the reason why this is capitalized is you'll see that all of the wording, all the, all the, all the titles and the buttons and whatnot are capitalized from this text. So that's, you see the angelic weapons is capitalized, damage is capitalized here, the button text is capitalized. So all of that stuff is going to be capitalized, uh, in, in, in a display here. Um, but you do see when it rolled 48 down here. This is the code after the dice notation section here. This is the code that starts telling it how, what, what it's going to roll. So the buttons or the, the dice that it's rolling is 48. So that's different from the button text. That's actually this down here. That's saying how many dice to roll. How many, how, what, what dice are you going to roll? And it was 48. So this roll type section here that shows damage that's the section here that shows damage. You roll action, angelic weapons. That's this section up here, the, 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 the pre-title here, the, pre, the preface of the title here, and the suffix of the title is, is, is the roll type, which was damage. Um, there is an extra section here, this roll damage type for radiant. And as you can see, that doesn't show up anywhere. That's that's something that uh, likely is D&D Beyond is, is, is preparing to use in some other means. But for right now, as we go through, we'll, we'll, we'll not worry about the roll damage type. So let's go ahead and get into some of the actions here. So we'll use the mace. And again, we've got the rollable code right section right here. Uh, it starts with rollable. We've got a plus eight, which is the button text over here. We've got the dice notation section here, which starts to tell you what dice to roll. And so we're going to do 1d20 plus 8. So it's going to roll a d20 and add 8 to it. The roll type, which is the suffix, will be roll action. And the roll, the, sorry, the roll type to hit is, is the suffix. And the roll action is the, is the preface of the title. <clears throat> so... If we go ahead and roll this plus eight, oh, natural 20. Awesome. Uh, so we've got the mace, 
and which is the roll action and then we've got the roll type is to hit and of course that 1d20 plus 8 we've got it here the 1d20 plus 8 so we roll the d20 and added 8 to it uh, so now if we get into the next section which is the d6 plus 4 now even though this is a crit I'm gonna roll it as regular um, so 1d6 plus 4 that's that's this section sorry right here so rollable starts with rollable we've got the 1d6 plus 4 in parentheses just as the button has and now we get into the dice notation and it has 1d6 plus 4 so that's telling you it's going to roll a d6 and add 4 so we'll go ahead and do that <clears throat> so we rolled a 2 plus 4 now you see the 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 title is mace damage so if we look into that we've got the suffix here is damage, which is roll type, and the roll action is the preface here. And then, of course, we've got the damage type again. Um, now, another button in here, and this will this will kind of go to 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 expand on that. This is this text here is this piece right after rollable and before the sub the uh, semicolon. You see, this 4d8 is actually in parentheses, where this one is not. So if we scroll back up here to the angelic weapon, you'll see 48 before the, the semicolon is not in parentheses where this one here is. So we'll go ahead and roll that. And if you take a look at the, the dice notation, we have that it's going to roll 4d8. The, the title suffix is damage, which is roll and then the the roll action is the preface so that's mace so you're going to get mace damage again but it's going to be 4d8 <clears throat> and down here we got the healing touch of three times a day uh, so that's going to be in parentheses we have 4d8 plus 2 so sure enough in our in our dice no, dice code here we've got 48 plus 2 in parentheses. In our dice notation, this is telling us we're going to roll 48 and add 2. Uh, our roll type, which is the suffix, is roll. And our roll action, which is the preface of the title, um, is healing touch. So we're going to go ahead and roll that one. And you see healing touch and roll. Now, let's go ahead and take a look in, at what this looks like. in the game log and you see our first roll here for the angelic weapon was this 48 just just as what we saw in the pop-ups uh, angelic weapon and da or yeah, angelic weapons and damage which was this code up here the the mace and to hit the mace and damage for the for the d6 plus 4 the mace damage for the d8 and this would be the this would be that extra radiant damage and then we've got the the healing touch as well um, anyway i hope this explains a little bit more about uh, the code and how it works and what what these code pieces are used for if you have any questions please uh, add them to the comments um, if you if you like this video please please like and uh give me a like and then uh, I plan on doing more of these types of videos in the future, so uh, if you if you enjoy this type of content and explaining, you know how how homebrew roots works, uh, I plan to get into Avre a little bit. I might even get into some uh, some virtual tabletop explanations, uh, such as Foundry or or Fantasy Grounds or or Roll Twenty. So, anyway. Uh, Please, uh, please subscribe if you like that kind of stuff. Please give me a like if you enjoyed the video. And I thank you very much for your time.